up YouTube? How are we all doing today? Today we got ourselves a review and we're definitely going to be doing a very interesting one because this one is from a very very old uh, personal thing with me. <laughs> Back as a kid when the line first started I remember I'm trying to remember how this went. I think it was at a, actually it was a clothing store and we're standing me and my mom are standing in the line like by me as a kid. Maybe it was like 80, 84, 83, 84. <laughs> and I just happened to see this, see these on display. And yeah, I bought my first Transformer, which was Jazz. Uh, the original one did not last long. I picked up the reissue. But as a matter of fact, it was my mom. She passed away back in 06. If you pay attention, look, that's when I actually started getting on YouTube. So, kind of, old. yeah, I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. Anyway, so I kind of felt like a little connection with Jazz. I always liked him, and Scatman Crothers was a really great voice actor and also actor. He's doing some other things as well. <sighs> trying to remember what, but when they started the Studio Series 86, I knew right away when I heard the announcement, I had to get. And so I pre ordered Studio Series Jazz. And this was just had to be, had to have. Pretty fair, but I do have the Power of the Primes one back there somewhere. I think it's right around in here. I think it's the right spot. Yeah, these are my Mirage. But, uh, that's something that's so much nicer. Yeah, great looking artwork there. It's on the front. Still with no shot. Mm. Sorry, guys. <laughs> A little tired. Busy work day. Got that. Tray 86. Top of the box with Transformers and movie on it. Our side of the box. On an up close shot of Jazz and that classic smile of his. Gotta love it. And our back showing the alt mode. And that's why. That one. I didn't. No. <laughs> no. That wasn't Jazz. No matter what. I don't care. That wasn't Jazz. I really like the looks of this. So give me a minute, get them opened up, check them out, and we'll be right on back. And we're back. And you see, you got Jazz out of, out of, well, what the heck is going on now? <laughs> I think I just had dinner. <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> anyway, got him out of here. He's looking awesome. In bot mode. I mean, I just like how he looks. They did this up perfect. He looks just like he was in the show and in the movie. I mean, there might be some little things. I know colors and whatnot. <laughs> That's a little thing there. It happens. The much have my the turn table. Well, I don't have a plug anywhere that works. <laughs> anyway, it looks good. I do know one thing to watch out for is right here. I'll show you that when I get to change them in the robot mode. I did real good paint wise there. Got a great looking face sculpt. I wish he had a smile though. <laughs> That's one thing I will say. I do not see just like his little stern face. Me Jazz needs to have a big smile. And you got his gun, which let me take that out of his hand here. So you got his gun. A weapon. I know they call it something else. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. You know, I'm not a big fan of these here. I might order from Toy Hacks and get a replacement. <laughs> yeah. It does look good. I mean, there's some details. A little bit of waffle in the gun, but that's doable. Well, Jazz himself, though. We got him in robot mode here. So, show here. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm tired from the day. His head is on a ball joint. So you can look full 360. Look up pretty good. A little bit. Look down pretty good. And that's one of the things I want to say right now. <laughs> make sure you get this exactly in the right position when you make them robot mode. Because I had a time for a while. Pushing that down in. <laughs> While I was moving his head down to this here would fall down in too, so it wasn't catched. It wasn't in the right spot. So 
of that. Arms can do a good full 360 and go up that far. A little trick, you can kind of get them, well, maybe not in this mode. Go up that far. I did that. Does have a bicep swivel? And why the heck am I on? I think it's the memory. <laughs> no wrist swivel, but his hand does go in. Yeah. No ab crunch. It does have a. Let me get that fixed. Does have a waist swivel, which is always the thing that killed me on the old G1s. <laughs> That's one of the things happened. He snapped in half. What was it? I'm trying to remember how it happens. It's playtime. So I didn't know he was a robot till later when this, when the old one broke off. <laughs> old G1. Do the Van Dam? Well, almost. Almost to the Van Dam. Pretty close. Let's have a little waist swivel in there. I just had to mess with it. <laughs> no knee rotation. It does have a knee bend, but it's a little bit weird because there's like a, supposed to be a little tab. Let me show you guys. I think we might be able to see. There's like a little tab in here. Uh, my lighting ain't going to show it off too well. But it's supposed to tab into a little tab on the knee. And it's very iffy <laughs> there got a little toe band and hmm, a little rocker ankle this person I got to work <laughs> careful with it and that's all the joint possibility so yeah if you wanted to you can kind of get them to do a uh, see so here we can get it done right get the pose but yeah he ain't gonna stand that way so see, it was one of the ones that did like to dance as well and chill out to the music that was like the only thing i miss i mean he didn't use it in the movie but he had those speakers that used to pop out a lot drove prime nuts <laughs> hey man he loved his music that was jazz okay that angle i do see a little bit of a smile a straight on, it doesn't really look, it looks kind of, yeah, well, I definitely like how he is. Bot mode looks really good, but let's get on with the main thing, and I hope I remember. <laughs> I did it all from watching. So bring the toes in, so basically got that going on. Bring, let's see here, which way was it supposed to go? These two side pieces. I did that one maybe a little more than I needed to. Get the feet back and straight, and there's a little tab in between the legs here. So push those in. So you got that already. Hard parts coming up. Man, is this piece right in here? Oh shit! There it goes. Oh, why is that? Sorry. Yeah, there's a little inside window here. I'm hoping that crack because that scared me. Just kind of have to bring that in, bring that up. There goes that. Got that already. But be careful. I do you know tales of this cracking. So far, all good. So get that ready. piece inside here. I don't know which way it's supposed to go now. Well, first time I did it, I did it good. Oh, here we go. So yeah, bring that in. Bring that down. Like I said, that was that piece. I forgot one thing. Here we go. That there to bring that little piece, bring that up his head. Okay, get that connected. So 
his head's supposed to be looking down like that. Now, fun part. <laughs> I do mean that. This was the fun part. He's getting his arms. You gotta get this just right. You get the wheels in there. Oh yeah, forgot. The hardest part. Let me get a little closer to this one. Uh, okay. This piece right here. You actually literally have to just take it and spin it all the way around. You won't be able to get his arms in. So get that down. And make sure that's facing out because there'll be a spot on the door you have to plug into. Wait, I forgot. Put the hands up. Duh. <laughs> Try to get this done. Never do a video in a hurry. Just get that in there like that. And same thing here. I want to bring that in. Bring that, turn that around. Bring that inward like so. Make sure you got it right. Move this feel like it's not all the way out. I don't know why it's going that way. There we go. Goes down. Bring the whole car, legs down and in like so. Make sure, keep that connected. That is the hardest part. Spin. Put this in. Bring this down. Let's have a weird connection area here. Make sure to connect those doors as you get it down. Don't put too much pressure. That is, you know, translucent plastic. I can break. I've heard too many stories and clean him up a little bit there you go it's always the back area here it gives me, gives me a little bit of trouble the first time I thought something was off the doors in there good that in there good okay and there you go there he is transformed I know yeah the 14 that's not normal I got something I can help fix that up show that in a minute it looks pretty good car wise. There goes the front. You got this here, which actually, in a way, kind of makes me laugh because you got Art Fire, Ricochet, I don't remember what. No, Stepper, I think it's Ricochet. Yeah, Art Fire's Art Fire. Yeah, Stepper, Ricochet. Just use this mold and made a Target Master. So that's why that, I consider that's why that pulp. There, but they don't want you to do. <clears throat> that and I think that looks dumb unless it's the target master so I wish they had another spot to put the uh, weapon maybe his head wasn't down here like it is I think you easily stick it in there I'm kind of like right between the legs here so I'm not getting up or if the head moved up and down you could probably stick it right in there but that's one of the things that happened the car mode looks really good for me, I mean, that looks good. I don't mind, like I said, a 14. I wish could have something where they could have just kept a 4. That's more I mean, knowledge, but it could be something copyright. Some people getting all political about it. I mean, don't get that, man. You don't know the character if you're thinking that. I keep thinking that's out of why. But he rolls really good. <laughs> Well, too good. Okay, but as I was saying, I do have something right here. Let's just say a certain Patriot Prime really got me into it. Just making sure what else is in there. I, know. I still got the bag for everything. I couldn't get back in right. But I did order from Toy Hacks. So I was saying, I'll try to get the weapon. I'm hanging on to these. So we do have his set here. That's some of the little ones. I gotta get on the site again, find how to do it. There goes all the little things. I think I think there is a. Yeah, 
I think there might be a license plate one on there too. I just don't know. Like I said, I got to remember which what goes where. You got that one there. This one here on a shiny background. Which I don't remember. What, like I said, I'm trying to remember what certain ones are. It's a lot of little car pieces, I think. Maybe some of the bot mode, I think. There goes show memory wise. I was hungry, man, because I. <laughs> Yeah, I know this here is definitely the windows. I do like that look right there. That's one of the main things I thought about because, oh, no, I thought they were clear. Man, when it shows the other way, it looks, I mean, the clear windows. I know some, but I kind of think I want to fill those in. <laughs> I kind of thought there was a, I don't know, somebody, got, one of the humans got hanging with them. It looks like wiggle covers there. But yeah, you got all that. That's your third set, third part of the set, and lastly, here goes a lot of the car. You guys can see you get your number four, bigger stripe. Also like the car mode. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm planning on doing the other. So I definitely want to get back on and double check where certain things go. You get an extra little Autobot symbol down there as well. Got that there. Get all that. I forget what some of the other ones are. Four, four. So I'm gonna have to get on and find out where certain things go. As for the door wise, I was really hoping there was one with Atta Martini. So you see there's two on there. I think I got one without and just had the full four would have been happy for me. But hey, I'm happy that I wanted to get it. Also got the um tweezers, which yeah, those will be used. <laughs> My uh, one thing I gotta say is my clip, the cover for it, got stuck inside the bag that I got in the mailer. And well, when it came out, I had to make sure I did not drop it, cause those are not your typical kind of tweezers. Those things would hurt you in a second. So yeah, guys, that's my whole entire review for Jazz. Just gonna do here real quick. Where am I at? Yeah, let's see how fast I'm gonna be able to get him transformed. So first do the doors, like so. Now everybody, I don't, yeah. bring the arms up and out. That's well, my own little thing I always used to do in the old toy. <laughs> oh, that's that one I want to go. Pop that up. Best way to get it because I'm you know, being careful of that translucent plastic because I heard so many tails and I have it breaking. Bring the legs on out. Yeah, I got them like this so far. Get that other section up here. Boy, that's in there. I got that in there good this time. This old piece, I ain't gonna lie. So you gotta kinda trick it, get that in there so you can keep that up. Of course, in there right though, that's the thing. There you go. The arms out, the hands out. And unplug the feet. Get these rotated the right way. hard part here I had trouble with the first time because I left it as it was in the thing and 
it does want to pop off on me a lot too. It's one of the first times it really has done it. Bring that down in there like so. Bring these in like so. Why do you... I thought those kind of went up in there somewhere. Okay, just a head where you want. Just want to make sure everything's good and clean. And there we go, Jazz Hulk transformed. And weaponed up. <clears throat> You know, I do kind of, I'd love to find somebody. I'm not sure I get a hold of Fire Tox. I know a lot of others have used and try to get some, hopefully we get some of his uh, music stuff, man. Because that's one of the things I remember most, him and Jazz really hanging out that way. So, yes. Final thoughts? Highly, highly recommend getting Jazz. But if you're that nitpicky about the four and stuff, get over it. This is one great looking representation of the original jazz, not the movie, not the Bay Jazz, because that thing was the. <laughs> I definitely love this figure. I got a personal reason why. Happy to have a brand new looking one. I still have my G1 reissue on that one. I missed so many before. I'm trying to hunt them down. I'm wishing I didn't. And one of the ones I know would have been next to this guy would have been to reveal the shield, which I never did get. Because I never did see them in the stores. I think that was a, a Target exclusive thing, right? There you go. I think it was, anyway. But highly, 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 highly recommend Jazz. If you see him, pick him up. I mean, 20 bucks, and he's almost... He really is almost a mini masterpiece figure. Again, I'll say that. Like I said, the one thing to watch out for is this translucent plastic breaking, cracking bad. I've seen pictures of people's uh, issues they had with them. And also getting the wheels in the right spot. <laughs> I might have them off again this time just now. And the knees. Those are minor quick. So if you can get it in there and stay in there. So it does like to pop off real easy. Oh, I definitely like them. So like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Check the description below for other channels. Help them out. There's a bunch Doing things right now, we're aiming for goals with a big Transformer Con coming up. Uh, I'd like to appreciate also if anybody's subbing up and not just wanting to give away like somebody did in my last video, I could tell. <laughs> Fell for the trap. But anyway, be kind to one another, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes! Rock on!